Hi, welcome to a short presentation on the length of a geodesic for a sphere. We have a sphere S, the centre, and the radius R. We have two points on this sphere A and B that are on the surface of the sphere, and we want to establish what the length of these are, what the length of this arc is. These are they are all A and B are also on a great circle. A great circle is a circle such that the center of the circle corresponds with the center of the sphere and the radius of this circle is the same as the radius of the sphere. So from that you know that the circumference is on the surface of the sphere. We want to, as a repeat, work out, establish what the length from A to B is. This is known as the length of the geodesic of the sphere. I'm going to colour that in. So we know exactly what we're looking for. Now, I'm going to use the vector dot product to find this arc length, or this the length of this geodesic. And uh, in order to do that, I'm going to write the points A and B as vectors. So vector A from the center of the circle, A hat. And vector B from the centre of the circle, which is also the centre of the sphere. sphere. And there is an angle, the central angle, between these two vectors. We call that theta. If we can establish what theta is, find out what theta is, we know a circle that's 360 degrees in a, in a circle. If theta is expressed in degrees, we can work out this arc length, because it's theta divided by 360 degrees, multiplied by the length of the circumference of the circle, which is 2, is two pi r. Uh, the, the tool we're going to use for this is the vector dot product. The vector dot product, which is written as the vector a dot the vector b, is equal to the magnitude of the vector a, multiplied by the magnitude of the vector b, multiplied by the cosine of the central angle theta. Let's talk about the magnitude. What's the magnitude? The magnitude is the length of this vector. It is the same because this is the unit circle and the unit sphere. It's the same as the radius. It's very easy to, to calculate the magnitude of a vector. If a vector is written in, in component form, let's say the vector is written, vector A is written in uh, x, y, z form then the magnitude of, of vector a is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z whoop, plus z squared. That is the, that's what the magnitude of a is, so that's expressed the, with the big lines on the side of that, that's the magnitude of a. The vector dot product, vector dot product can be calculated if we write the two vectors as column vectors with the components call a x1 y1 z1 that's the components of vector a and then a vector b likewise you write that in component column vector x2 y2 z2 the dot product a dot b a vector a dot b is equal to we just go down the pairwise multi sum the products of the of the, the pairwise components so that's x1 by x2 plus y1 by y2 y1 by y2 plus z1 by z2 that gives us that that's a way of calculating the vector dot product and I'll write it out here again. If we use the equation that the vector dot product of a dot b equals the magnitude of the vector a multiplied by the magnitude of the vector b by the cosine of the central angle theta. You can rearrange this equation to isolate the cosine of, uh, uh, on that side. So it's a dot b divided by the magnitude of a by the magnitude and the magnitude of b equals cosine theta. Now, if we take the inverse cosine of each side of this equation, 
so we have the inverse cosine of a dot b whoops i forgot the hat on the b there the magnitude of a by the magnitude of b equals the inverse because we're taking the inverse cosine of each side of the equation so the inverse cosine of the cosine one is, since one is the inverse of the other they cancel out and that just leaves us with the theta so as i said earlier on if we can establish what theta is basically using that as the, the the fraction of the circumference of the circle we can find out what the arc length or the geodesic from a to b is so if we find out the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r if we multiply that by theta over 360 this then gives us the length for the arc a b and that is known as the geodesic of of uh, that sphere now i have some uh, numbers i could pump in here uh, to, to give a numerical example before i go on on to do that let's talk a little bit about uh, what happens if it's the unit sphere so the unit sphere the unit sphere is where the radius here is one magnitude is one magnitude is one let's look at our formula here so it's, it's the dot product divided by the magnitude by the magnitude equals cosine theta units if it's the unit sphere this is one this is one so the formula drops out to the formula drops down to then it's the cosine inverse cosine of just the a dot product a with b and i seem to have forgotten my hat again that there gives us theta but if we calculate theta in radian mode and if it's in the unit circle and our angle is in radian mode if theta is in radian mode the length of this arc here is the measure in radians so if in radians this turns out to be 0 0.6 well then the length of that arc is uh, is, is also 0.6 so let's look at some of the, the let's do a quick numerical example of based on some figures I have uh, here so I'm going to let the vector a is equal to 1 the components of that 1 2 3 the vector B is minus 1 3 and 2 let's find the magnitude of a equals the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared whoops not cubed squared plus 3 squared 9 plus 4 plus 1 equals the root of 14 now I know I when I contrived this I knew it was on the, uh, the, the sphere of radius root 14 but there's no harm in checking it so the magnitude of, of B is the square root of minus 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 2 squared Squ minus 1 squared is 1 plus 9 plus 4 is equal to root 14 as expected because it is on it is on a, a sphere and the magnitude is the same as uh, as that now the next one we want to do the magnitude is the same as the radius on a sphere we want to find the dot product remember the dot product itself then is where you pair these off multiply the pair them off multiply them and add them up so a dot b equals 1 by minus 1 plus 2 by 3 plus 3 by 2 And if we uh, multiply those out, we end up. Sorry, I lost my 
tension there, by but it works out at 11. So now we have, we know the dot product and we know the magnitudes. We should be in a position to find the, co find the cosine. Let's just write it, again, write it again. A dot B divided by the magnitude of A divided by the magnitude of B equals cosine theta. So A dot B is 11. Magnitude of A is root 14. Magnitude of B is root 14. 14. Root 14 squared is 14. That equals 11 over 14. That equals cosine theta. But we're not looking for, for cosine theta. We're looking for theta. So if I take the inverse cosine of each side of that, see, inverse cosine of 11 over 14 equals the uh, inverse, uh, sorry, the inverse cosine of cosine of theta, that equals theta. Plug this thing into your calculator here, the inverse of this, uh, 11 over 14 in degrees, it comes out as 38.2 degrees. Going back up to our sketch here, we've now found out that this this here is 38.2 degrees based on my uh, contrived numbers. The circumference of the circle is 2 pi, the length of the circumference is 2 pi r. We know what r is, it's the magnitude of the vectors. So with 2 pi root 14, we know the, the angle of the arc, the angle is 38.2. There's 360 degrees, 38.2 degrees, 360 degrees in a circle. So it's 38.2 over 360. That is the fraction of the circumference of the circle uh, that we want. We plug and chug those into our calculator and we end up with 2.49 four six and whatever the units of radius is whatever the units of, of the radius is if the radius is measured in kilometers uh, and the elements the components the vectors are well then would be kilometers we the units here would would also be kilometers just a quick recap if it's on the unit sphere the unit sphere, the, the length of the geodesic, now let me write this in on 2.4946. Let's write this in here. So from here to here is Briefly going back to the, the to the unit circle, so the geodesic on the unit circle can be given by the inverse cosine of the dot product provided that uh, the calc you calculated in in, in 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 radians mode. This happens because the it's a, it's the unit sphere. The radius, is the, magnet, the radius is 1, the magnitude is 1, so 1 by 1, they just drop out. And in radians mode, on the unit circle or the unit sphere, the, the, the arc length is equal to the measure of the, uh, the angle in, in radians. I hope that was helpful. 